Hello, Troy A. Shadowing Tronics, continuing to take part in the Art Sound Off, art sound off Challenge. Happy Thanksgiving to you uh, if you're watching this on Thanksgiving. If not, I hope you had a good one. I hope you have a good one if you are. And um, we are still doing this. The uh, redrawing, reconstruction zone Batman, my old redesign of Batman with a picture that I was not happy with. So, <clears throat> Uh, we're going to now get to back into the technical stuff with the inking stage. Now the inking stage still has an air of creativity to it. Um, it's not just simply tracing over the pencils. The pencils I try to have fun with, so I try to make <coughs> to just design the thing. With the inking stage is basically the finalization. This is the final look. So I do worry about crossing lines. I do worry about um, shapes and things. So everything that didn't matter in the pencil stage now matters here. But because this is still a creative, there's still, still a little creativity here because um, what I'm creating here, you know, I'm basically going off the pencils and I'm doing my own thing. For example, we can start right off immediately, the eyes on the outfit. Um, I don't really want to do these four diamonds. Uh, here, let me... As I drew the eyes like diamonds. I don't want to do it like diamonds. I want... I'm going to instead use the G pen. Um, so then I'll use the turnip pen. <coughs> Usually I use the turnip pen for the art style that I use in Jake and Leon. For this I'm kind of Testing G Pen and real G Pen. I've been using G Pen for um, ever since I started using it. I don't really have a date, so I'm not going to make this diamond shape. I'm going to make well, even the foot. This football thing really isn't what I want to do either. Something more like that. That's too big. Um, instead of redrawing it though, what I'm going to do is select all the lines and just use the object tool to reposition it and resize it and everything. <clears throat> Cheating a bit, but it's better than sitting here redoing it 500 different times. So I'm, I basically use the pencils as a, as a guide, much like I use the um, the pose is a guide for the pencils. So this is where I try to want to get all the details right. And <clears throat> with pencil it's, it's a little more difficult to do um, line widths and um, if I'm using the term correctly line weight um, is it is it uh, not all that easy with with an actual pencil either? Um, sorry, it's a bit late, so I'm going to be a little more rambly than yeah. Mostly, <clears throat> I'm focusing, trying to focus. So this is one of those times I probably should have had like a guest co-host or something. So, may not be as much talking this time because they're just going to sound like an idiot. Remember the reconstructed Batman <clears throat> has little things in his. In his I, mean, I don't know why you don't see, it just even an indent for his ears, which is what I'm actually trying to put here. It looks like an indent. The ears rather than being his ears or just having something sticking out. So let's see where ears would be, would be about here. No. <clears throat> okay, I think I know, I think I'm starting to figure out why they don't draw anything here. This is something that's got to be done. <clears throat> Drawing 
too much of the line at once. I saw, actually saw a video um, this week uh, from Cliff Studio Paint talking about uh, line length, what, uh, line weight, and how you can put more life into it by altering the line weight based on where the lighting is, how far away it is. It's just to give it a bit more life to it. Um, I do try to use it when it comes to distance and size, not so much the way the light hitting it. I got enough trouble with shading as it is. Okay, but I need to see, I need to see the whole cape. Now for the cape, you remember with the pencil, I try to use a pencil that gave me a little more control and flow so I could make it grow a bit more natural. Well, I'm gonna I'm borrowing a tip from that I do with the physical drawing, and I'm going to use the brush pen instead of the the regular pen tip. Let's see. Just make sure I get this get the size right here so it looks nope. Still too big. Still too thick. Bring you down two more points. Another thing I didn't do quite the way I wanted to. This is distracting me again. I want to get this the cape right. Notice in, the, in some of these I didn't give it. Points, so oh, 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 come, come on. I'm doing this game again. No, I want it heavy like that. There we go. No. no. There we go. And I'm going to switch back to the pen to get all the stuff, this other stuff now. choose my pens based on what has the most control versus the most uh, looseness what gives me the move more so the thicker or harder something is the more I want control which is something I'm not very good at and the more loose and flexible it is the more I want um, less control so something like capes or hair I want to just be able to, to move freely when you come to something like body or, or the like these gauntlets or the batarang I want more control uh, I don't have to worry about deleting this line here because well maybe I should anyway Anyway, oh crud. 
light a line, if I can't make the line light enough, that's when I will change the brush size. in there looks like it's embedding itself into the gauntlet <clears throat> and again in this version he has a sort of a body suit on padded body suit not full-fledged body armor I still think that doesn't match Batman's style can't really get a good look on it actually you know what I know what color I want the buckle to be and if not I can always change it later I'm going to somewhat lighter version of that <clears throat> I'm going to use on the buckle use a little use a little bit of color hole but not quite just to <clears throat> make it look a little different and if that doesn't work when I go to color it I can always fix it I need a thinner line here for the belt <clears throat> oh, I forgot to put it. Be, should be able to see at least one. Nope. Pouch. One of the arms and the hands and things get in the way, and that is way too far away. Yeah, this is stuff that I didn't do in the pencil stage that I went here because this is the final. When I'm done inking, I'm basically done drawing it. Then it's just a point of time of coloring it. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, here's another decision I'm making on the fly. Back to the what? Back to the brush pen. What the heck is going on here? Brush pen looks a little weird. Okay, so we can't, never mind then. I made a mistake. Brush pen is not, I thought the brush pen made, made the, the compartments look better. It's actually not. But, <clears throat> I was going over a little experimenting. Now let me do another experiment. I made that one with the G pen. And I made it too small. Hang on. Sorry. What I should do is just make one pouch and then copy paste and then alter it as need be. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm trying to learn to do things. 
I got this under now it's under the real G pen versus just plain old G pen and that's doesn't look good is it? Go with regular G pen. The fake G pen I guess. Okay, that's so that's better. So the body suit like that. A little more concentration. Make a bit more muscle. Draw this line. A little thicker to show the, the side of the sole of the boot. This is what the the video was talking about using line weights to enhance the picture a bit. <clears throat> enhance things to make it look a little less flat. Oh, I'm ready that. like a chicken leg. Must be muscular not chicken. Not anything wrong with the traditional trunks and the athletes and circus muscle men everything that uh, super costumes are based off of I believe still use it. forgot to add in part of the belt here. Yeah. Yeah. Belt comes through that way. Okay, now we'll go back to the brush pen. With the pencils, I can, I know where everything is. I just get this is more of just a, it's not just a cleanup operation because you got to play with different things in order to get the desired look that you want. And we'll go back to the G pen. This is not, this is not looking right. Let me try something else. Try one of these other pens here. Try the turnip pen. Oh yeah, that's a little better. 
You don't have to use the same pen throughout. You can if that's what you want to do. Um, but you don't have to. You have all these other pens in your arsenal. Why not utilize them? You've got multiple pens in your art caddy or however you store your pens. I start mine in a caddy. good to stop at some point during the line so that if you start screwing up you don't have to do, undo the entire stinking line and the problem is if you go to use the object select tool it becomes a little harder to select everything you want so now I turn off the inner drawing altogether to see if I'm missing any things that's missing. Or the cape seems to be missing here. But um, a little more weight here shows us the way the side is. Okay. I really didn't expect the gauntlet to be coming through the body like that. It'll, it should fix itself when I go to do the coloring. So we'll worry about that next time when I do the coloring. But that's basically me inking a picture. Um, I don't know how much I explained because I had to do a lot more concentrating than usual. Um, but I, you know, I'm. I'm Getting, like I said, I'm not the best artist in the world, but this does feel a bit more like. Oh, I did forget. Why the heck? Nope. Oh, hang on. This does feel a bit more closer to my skill level, and that was the thing I wanted to fix. And wasn't expecting it to be an improvement. I expected it to just better match my art style, and that's kind of what I'm doing here. I wish I was a better artist, but yeah, I'm getting there. So, um, I hope you enjoyed that or found that interesting or something. Um, if you want to see, you know, get back to me talking about making stuff and things where I can make a bit more sense, where I'm not concentrating. Um, I shouldn't have to, that just like takes the most concentration out of all of the stages that go into um, producing a comic for me. So, that, uh, so the rest of it should be, shouldn't take as much concentration. So I should be able to talk a bit more about um, my style, my interests, and what drives me. So, if you want to uh, check out my other ramblings on stuff, you can go to bwspotlight.com. And if you want to find out more about Art Sound Off, you can go to artsoundoff.com. And uh, so, tomorrow we'll be coloring, which you, um, not requires much concentration, so I can focus a bit more on what I'm saying. And until then, I wish you all Happy Thanksgiving and Happy Creating.